come and tell you this right here is a run team. They're gonna run all over your face. That's when pride comes in, when it's nut cutting time. Can you go out there and do it? You hear the heartbeat of the stadium. Third down, you look at the play clock. Nine, the quarterback looks at you and he knows, eight, that you're coming for him. Seven, wide receivers are moving, the running back's moving. Six, so loud it makes your heart almost burst out of your body. The time clock just went to three. Two, you don't even hear him anymore. You don't hear anything. Everybody's still. It was my job to prepare myself, prepare my body to get me to that point. And now, it's not me anymore. When everybody told me that I was too small, you're not gonna ever finish high school, finish college, that was sort of that motivating factor to let me get over the hump. No matter um, what happens, I'm still gonna keep pushing forward because that's the only thing that I have. Everybody always think about what you do on Sundays. It's not what you do on Sundays. It's what you do to prepare to get to Sunday. For me, work out harder than you will work out on the field when you're playing. Run harder than anybody else can run and have a mental toughness to where you don't feel it anymore to where you don't feel your body, but you know your mind have taken over. Red Bull inspires me uh, to be a better person. All of their athletes are role models, role models that can go out there and touch the lives of the youngsters. And for me, just being part of that is uh, just a great privilege. <laughs> right. like, hey, I'm already going to calm me down. I would take two Red Bulls right before the game to sort of get myself going. And, you know, just walking down that aisle, walking through that stadium and, and going through that smoke, it's a feeling of, I have arrived. I have arrived to the point to where I'm unstoppable. As a pass rusher in this league, it's all about the third down. The third down to, to get you off the field. You hear the heartbeat of the stadium. Everybody goes to the line and they line up. The quarterback looks at you and he knows that you're coming for him. You don't even hear him anymore. Everybody's still right before the ball snaps. I prepared harder than anybody. I've done everything that I can. And now, I'm giving it up to God. Now, he's the one out there playing. It's not me anymore. Once that ball snaps, I'm going against the tackle. Once he sticks his hands out there and try to punch me, I've already known exactly what move to set him up for the kill. Once you beat him, it's a feeling of, like you almost got punched in your stomach, you can't breathe because the quarterback still has the ball. You're coming around the corner, there's nobody. You're running as fast as you can, your eyes beating on the quarterback. Please do not throw the ball, because I am coming. Even when you hit him, there's no impact. You don't even hear your pads clacking against his. But as soon as he goes down, you hear the uproar of the crowd and you know you've made the big play. People don't understand what it feels like to prepare yourself to be taken over. I feel that every week. No such other feeling. No such other feeling.